Hello and welcome back to Art with Mr. Mariani. I'm Mr. Mariani and today we have two very special guests. The first is the poet, Miss Tarnoff. The second is going to be my dad, Dr. Peter Mariani. He's gonna help us learn a little bit of Italian today. And then we're going to look at four very famous Italian artists. And last, we're gonna look at what boys and girls are doing in Italy right now to create art to make people around them feel a little bit happier. Let's get started. And I'm here with my dad, Dr. Peter Mariani. Can you say hi, dad? Hi, hi everyone. How would you say hi in Italian? Uh, ciao. Ciao. So if I wanted to say hi to someone, I could say ciao. But how would I say goodbye to somebody in Italian? You could, you could use the same word, ciao, or arrivederci. Arrivederci, that's a very nice word. And then the last thing is, in Italy right now, students are, are, boys and girls are making pictures of rainbows to hang in their windows. And on the, it says, andra tutto bene. Do you know what that means? That means everything will be fine. Oh, that's nice to write on a rainbow. The last thing is, when you were in Italy, what was your favorite food to eat? My favorite food was pasta, all different types. That sounds amazing. Thanks for coming to visit us today. Uh, it was my pleasure. I hope to see you again. Ciao. Ciao. Did you know that some of the most famous artists in the world come from Italy? There's four artists today that I want you to know. The first is Michelangelo, then Leonardo da Vinci, then Raphael, then Donatello. And the reason why those sound familiar is they're also the name of the Ninja Turtles. In Italy right now, boys and girls of all ages are making rainbows to hang in their windows to make everybody that walks by or looks through their windows to see something that will make them a little bit happier. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a rainbow together. Today I'm lucky to be joined by the amazing poet Miss Tarnoff. And Miss Tarnoff's going to read to us a poem she wrote today about rainbows. So let's hear it. Sometimes the world can be dark and gray, making you stay stuck inside for a whole lot of days. But don't let that thought get you too down. You can still make a difference in your very own town. Around the world, rainbows are being used as a sign to spread the message that things will be fine. Hold on to hope. Things will be all right. Remember that darkness is always followed by light. What a great poem. Would you like to draw a rainbow with me? Sure. Things you're going to need before we get started. You are going to need a paper a pencil, and then something to color with. So let's go get our stuff. We got our pencils and we got our paper. Are you guys ready at home? Are you ready, Miss Tarnoff? I'm ready. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is make a big letter U, almost the full size of my paper. Leave a little space at the top though. Perfect. Then I'm gonna go again, but I don't wanna bump into my other line. And again. And again, let's stop and count our lines. One, two, three, four. How many lines are we gonna need, Ms. Tarnoff? Seven lines. Seven, so we need three more. So let's count one, two, and three. Perfect. Now let's flip our paper over. And at the bottom of mine, I'm gonna make Bump lines. Bump, 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 bump. Can you try, Miss Tarnoff? Very nice. Now, Miss Tarnoff's out of space, so that might be where she enters clouds, but if you have a little more space at the bottom, you can make bumps around and bumps around. Now, if you want to make one of the rainbows or one of the clouds have a little face, you can always add some little eyes and a smile. Want to give it a shot, Miss Arna? Ooh, that's pretty cool. And you could make one more, but let's make this one winking. So just a little bump for the eye there. Okay, now Ms. Tarnoff, do you know the first color of a rainbow? The first color is red. Red, so I'm gonna get my red color pencil and Ms. Tarnoff is going to get her red marker. And let's get coloring.
Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> what would you like our next color to be? Or what's the next color of the rainbow, we should say? Uh, orange. Orange. So Miss Tarnoff's getting her orange marker ready. I'm getting my orange color pencil. I'm going back and forth, nice and smooth. Remember in art, we say nice and slow. That's the way the artists go. Or take your time to be the smartest artist. How's it going over there, Miss Tarnoff? It's going well. All right, Ms. Tarnoff, do you know what our next color is going to be? Yellow. Yellow, here we go. It's actually my favorite color. What's your favorite color, Ms. Tarnoff? My favorite color is green. Oh, green and yellow are great colors together. I like how Ms. Tarnoff is staying between her lines. She's not scribbling across. She's taking her time, she's going back and forth with her marker, nice and smooth. All right, Ms. Tarnoff, it's time for your favorite color. What's our next color? Green. Green, here we go. Turn off. What's our next color? Um, blue. Blue. Get our blues ready. All right, Ms. Tarnoff, what's our last color? Violet or purple. Violet or purple. Awesome. All right, in our video earlier, we got to talk to my dad, and he told us in Italian that, that andrà tutto bene meant everything's going to be fine. So we're gonna write that on our rainbows so we can hang them in our windows. Ms. Tarnoff is gonna use a black marker, and I think I'm gonna use a black marker. 
or a Sharpie if I can find one. You can write it on top of your rainbow wherever you want. I'm gonna write mine right on top. Perfect. Ms. Tarnoff wrote, everything will be fine. And I wrote, andra tutto bene. These are great to hang up in our windows to make everybody around us feel a little bit happier. All right, boys and girls, that was our art class for today. I can't wait to see you guys back here tomorrow. Rainbows, would you like to read that for us? Sure. Sorry, this is, this is, here's the problem. There's no 